When it comes to impressive infrastructure, few countries rival China. From towering skyscrapers to vast high-speed rail networks, China has transformed its landscape in ways that leave much of the world in awe. But what fuels this infrastructure boom? What factors have propelled China to the forefront of modern engineering and construction? In this in-depth video, we'll explore the key drivers behind China's infrastructure supremacy, from strategic economic reforms to consistent political vision and massive investments in human capital. By understanding these elements, we can gain insight into how China has created some of the world's most advanced and ambitious projects. At the end of the video, there are three key lessons we can draw from China's remarkable growth and apply to our everyday lives. First, let's hear from Elon himself about China's infrastructure. The architecture in China that's in recent years is far more impressive than the U.S. The, the, the train stations, the buildings, the high-speed rail, everything, it's um, really far more impressive than what we have in the U.S. I recommend somebody just go to Shanghai and Beijing, look at the buildings, and go to take the train from Beijing to Xi'an, where you have the terracotta warriors. Economic liberalization and strategic investments. The foundation of China's infrastructure juggernaut began in the late 1970s with significant economic reforms. Previously, China's economy was mostly centralized and isolated from the global market. Under Deng Xiaoping's leadership, China embraced market-oriented policies, focusing on opening the economy and initiating strategic reforms. A crucial part of this transformation was the establishment of special economic zones, SEZs, regions where capitalist economic practices could be tested. The first of these was Shenzhen, a fishing village north of Hong Kong. Through favorable policies and dedicated infrastructure, Shenzhen transformed rapidly, growing from a small population in 1980 to over 12 million today. This success sent a powerful message. Economic liberalization paired with infrastructure investments could create strong growth. As reforms continued, China's GDP soared from 36 billion in 1980 to nearly 18 trillion by 2022. This massive economic growth provided the funds to support the infrastructure projects that span the country today. China's spending reflects this priority with around 8.5% of its GDP allocated to infrastructure. From 1992 to 2011, compared to just 2.5% in the United States during the same period. This level of investment enabled China to construct world-class highways, railways, and airports on an unprecedented scale. One of the crown jewels of China's infrastructure is its high-speed rail network. Launched in 2008, this vast system now covers over 45,000 kilometers, making it the largest of its kind globally. China has more high-speed rail than the rest of the world put together. In fact, China built around 1,000 kilometers of new tracks every year over the last decade, enough to span the distance from New York to Miami annually. It not only connects cities but also boosts regional economies and creates millions of jobs, integrating once-isolated regions into the national economy. Economic liberalization laid the groundwork for this infrastructure boom, allowing China to build a solid financial foundation to pursue ambitious projects, political vision, and long-term commitment. While China's economic reforms provided the necessary funding, its centralized political system ensured efficient, uninterrupted execution. Unlike in many democracies, where political shifts can disrupt infrastructure projects, China's leadership pursues long-term vision without interruption. Political focus on large-scale projects allows China to overcome the delays common in other countries. In many democracies, short-term thinking or changing leadership can delay or even cancel major infrastructure projects, like the California Bridge that lead to nowhere. Check this news for yourself. So over the weekend, folks, uh, the state of California and its high-speed rail authority, they were raked over the coals big time. So they posted photos of the first completed high-speed rail structures uh, and I got to tell you, the, the number, look at this thing. It looks like a slab of concrete just laying there, right? The numbers are mind-boggling. Took nine years, $11 billion. And you know how long it would take if you wanted to walk across 1,600 feet the slab? Five minutes. So it's just nuts. Uh, now, in 2008, these same folks put out a 32-page business plan. They said construction would cost less than $34 billion. Last year, the cost had risen to $128 billion, and the clock keeps ticking. Meanwhile, China... Uh, they've actually seen the length of their high-speed rail. Uh, by the way, their high speed is really high speed. It goes twice as fast as these California trains. It's grown by 438% from 2010 to last year. 
You know, after being bombarded with criticism on social media, these folks at the California High Speed Rail, they decided they would share some pictures. Look at these wonderful pictures of what these train stations are going to look like one day. But it all really is certainly nuts. Here in China, swift decision making powers and sustained long term plans provide a significant advantage. The South North Water Transfer Project serves as an example. This colossal project aims to divert water from the southern regions to arid northern areas, an effort that began in the 1950s and remains ongoing. Estimated to cost over 71 billion. It highlights China's commitment to long-term initiatives, despite the cost and complexity. Parts of the project are already operational, a testament to the country's dedication to seeing projects through to completion. Urban development projects illustrate this focus on transformation. Shanghai's Pudong district, mostly farmland in the early 1990s, now rivals New York City as a global financial hub. Government initiatives drove these sweeping changes, reshaping entire districts with strategic planning and dedicated resources. The ability to make quick decisions and carry out long-term plans without being hindered by political friction enables China to achieve engineering feats that might seem impossible elsewhere. Investing in human capital. China's infrastructure boom isn't just about resources, it's also about people. The country has invested significantly in human capital, ensuring it has a skilled workforce equipped to tackle ambitious construction and engineering projects. Education, especially in science, technology, Engineering and Mathematics (STEM) is a priority. Institutions like Tsinghua and Peking University produce top-notch engineers and architects who lead the infrastructure charge. In 2020 alone, China produced nearly 4.7 million STEM graduates compared to around 600,000 in the United States. This massive pool of talent is a driving force behind China's infrastructure progress. Beyond universities, China's focus on vocational training has created a skilled labor force with practical construction and engineering expertise, fueling projects from skyscrapers to high-speed rail. China also prioritizes research and development R&D, in infrastructure-related fields, with spending reaching around 2.6% of GDP in recent years. This investment, amounting to hundreds of billions of dollars, has fostered advances in construction materials, techniques, and sustainability practices, maintaining China's position at the cutting edge of infrastructure development. China's R&D spending is on track to surpass that of the U.S., a major milestone that speaks to the country's commitment to innovation. From education to vocational training and R&D, investment in human capital is a key pillar of China's infrastructure success. Overcoming Challenges China's infrastructure journey, however, hasn't been without its challenges. The massive scale and speed of these projects raise questions about environmental impact, labor conditions, and safety standards. Additionally, China's centralized political system faces scrutiny for a lack of democratic checks and balances, which can sometimes lead to project mismanagement or selection of vanity projects over practical needs. One of the main challenges is the environmental impact. The construction and operation of these projects have caused issues such as air pollution, water contamination, and habitat destruction. In response, China has increased investments in renewable energy sources and introduced stricter environmental regulations, though more could be done to make development sustainable. Worker conditions are another concern. Reports of unsafe environments, long hours, and low pay bring attention to the human cost behind China's infrastructure push. Although All steps have been taken to improve labor standards, the rights and well-being of workers are areas that require further focus. Transparency is also a critical issue. Despite efforts to address these issues, the lack of transparency remains a concern for many, a vision for the future. Despite these challenges, the scale and ambition of China's infrastructure achievements are undeniable. From the world's largest high-speed rail network to advanced urban development projects, China has set a new standard for what's possible in engineering and construction. This infrastructure boom is about more than just impressive structures. It's about improving lives, connecting regions, and driving economic growth. By investing in transport, energy, and telecommunications, China has brought previously isolated regions into the national economy, creating new opportunities for millions. Here are three valuable lessons from China's infrastructure story that can be applied to everyday life. Number one, invest in yourself for the long term. Just as China invested heavily in education and skilled labor to fuel its infrastructure growth, investing in personal development, whether through education, acquiring new skills, or building healthy habits, pays off in the long run. Focusing on long-term growth can help you achieve personal and career goals, even if the results take time to show. Number two, have a clear vision and stick to it. China's consistent political vision and commitment to large-scale projects remind us of the power of sticking to a clear goal. For personal projects, 
Setting a clear vision and breaking it down into actionable steps can prevent distractions. Consistency, even when challenges arise, often leads to remarkable progress over time. Number three, embrace adaptability and overcome challenges. China's journey faced environmental and social challenges, but continued to adapt with new policies and innovations. In daily life, we often encounter setbacks that require flexibility and a positive outlook. Embracing change, learning from mistakes, and adjusting plans as needed can help us overcome obstacles and stay on track toward our goals. Each of these principles highlights the importance of patience, commitment, and adaptability, skills that can help in both big dreams and everyday challenges. What do you think about China's impressive infrastructure? Do you think they can sustain their building ambition? What will China build next? Please leave your comment below. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for making it this far. If you like this video, you might want to share it with a like-minded friend. Thank you, and as always, stay blessed.